The third portion is spiritually. How do we control anxiety spiritually? Now again, coming back to the uh, original topic, what causes us anxiety, right? The, the thing about the future, the fear, what's going to happen, the fear of unknown, like all these things, right? So we have to think about whenever we get these, these we get, it get, things starts getting really crazy, whenever we get really anxious, whenever we find ourselves in those situations, we have to understand that we have a purpose. We in this world are the chosen ones, right? We didn't have to be here. It could be anything, right? But we are the chosen ones, so there is definitely a purpose for us. We are blessed with so many things, the ability to walk, the ability to see things, the ability to taste, the ability to smell, the ability to touch. Like all these things are blessings, right? So the creator took us this far, right? All the way from the childhood, from earlier age to this age, to this age, to this age. So having good faith, having good belief that good things are going to happen to us is, 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 is a part of us. Like that also help us control anxiety. When we get rid of the fear, when we believe that the creator is going to take care of us, like whatever is going to happen, and if we do it in the right intentions, if we work hard for it, if we, if we believe in it, then spiritually, you know, we stay more calm. We don't get as anxious as we understand that whatever the results are going to be, I believe that those results, there's something better about those in me. You know, say with all the inventors, like you know, they, they believe that things are good things are gonna happen to them. You have to we have to spiritually believe in that. Like what that the higher authority is watching us, like he is gonna take care of us, irrelevant of you know where we live, who we are, how we do things. So we are each of us is a unique person. We all have a purpose. So spiritually is we can control anxiety by actually having a belief that good things are going to happen to us instead of worrying about the future what is going to happen what is going to happen if we came this far and we had all these achievements and we are became so successful i promise you good things are going to keep on happening in the future as well so keep that those hopes high having good intentions thinking well about yourself uttering good thoughts uttering good words out there actually help you believe in, in positivity. My uh, grandfather was a World War veteran, and uh, he, uh, in my teenagers, like in teenage, I was early age, I had always had a lot of energy, even now. Um, so back then, I was really like always trying to do something, right? Always curious what is going on, what's this, what's going to happen in the future. I couldn't sleep at night. So me and him used to communicate. Um, um, through letters, um, when I will see him, we'll co we will communicate directly. So I basically, uh, I uttered, you know, this problem to him. I told him that this is what happens to me. I can't sleep at night. I'm so anxious. So he told me something. He was like, You're, you have things in your unconscious mind that more than likely your conscious mind is not accepting. When that happens, then he gave me Freud's example. I guess it's one of his uh, uh, theories. That, that he came with, and he's, uh, you know, when your conscious mind is not accepting what's in your unconscious mind, and we are not aware of it, what is bothering us, it causes us anxiety. We can't pull it out. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. We can only hope for best. So what we need to do at those points, what he told me, he was like, you need to calm your heart down. You have to believe that good things are going to happen. He's like, repeat that to yourself out loud, that good things are going to happen to me good things are going to happen to me, good things are going to happen to me. And I saw myself and I've tried it repeatedly with different people. I mean, it really calms you down. If you focus on that part, if you really think about it, it really calms you down. We have to understand that our mind plays games with us. It's a consistently, consistently wandering thing from one place to another place to another place to another place. So we have to we, we are very complex with all these emotions, you know, with all these thoughts, with all this processing, with all these energies all around. So we have to, some point, we have to separate that. A lot of these negative thoughts are nothing but just, just, just a thought, right? How many thoughts you come through every day that this is going to happen to you or this is going to happen to you, but nothing happens, right? Now, consistently, if you dwell about it, if you, like, if you consistently talk about it, that this might happen to you, this might happen to you, 
there's a high probability that will happen to you. So spiritually, we have to believe in higher authority that everything is going to get better. It's, it's for, from where we started to where we are going. Just keep our intentions good and, and keep faith. Believe everything is going to get better. If we are all the way till this point, so again, so successful, good things are going to happen to us in the future as well. So that's a part of spiritual, like how we control our uh, anxiety. Um, this is more, of, these were more of general points talking about all these uh, things, how you can do mentally exercises, physically active, and then spiritually you can believe. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, we will discuss further, uh, please send me your questions. You guys can follow me always on Instagram um, at always strong. You can follow me on my YouTube channel, Wahid Khan. Um, you can follow me on my Facebook page as well, Wahid Khan and Always Strong. Um, send me a message, uh, text me with any questions. I'll love to talk to you guys.